Hillary Clinton is preaching to the political choir tonight on the West Coast. She's appearing in a region that is obviously solidly Democratic, if not enthusiastically behind her in particular. She's getting ready to be off the trail for a few days and not answering questions about the WikiLeaks emails. Fox News correspondent Jennifer Griffin reports tonight from Seattle. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Brett. Well, Hillary Clinton did not campaign in any battleground states today. She is, however, attending a fundraiser behind me at the Paramount Theater in Seattle after raking in $10 million at two fundraisers in California. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hillary Clinton is feeling confident enough to take two days to fundraise on the West Coast, avoiding press who might ask tough questions about the latest WikiLeaks revelations, instead sitting for a friendly interview with Ellen DeGeneres. He was really trying to dominate and then literally stalk me around the stage, and I would just feel this presence behind me. <laughs> I thought, whoa, this is really weird. The two made light of the last debate and embraced the hashtag sensation, Ken Bone. That was the best dancing I've ever done. At a fundraiser in Seattle hosted by the hip-hop artist Macklemore, Clinton urged her supporters not to let up. Her most powerful surrogate, President Obama, campaigned in Ohio. If you felt the burn in the primaries, you need to vote. But instead of appealing to Republicans as Clinton has, who are turned off by Trump, President Obama chose to point the blame. You said you were, you're the party of family values. What, you weren't appalled earlier when he was saying degrading things about women? When he was judging them based on a score of are they a two or a ten? That, that wasn't enough for you? In an appeal to African-American voters, the Clinton campaign released a new ad narrated by actor Morgan Freeman. You care about protecting his legacy and our progress. We show what it means to be stronger together. But in a WikiLeaks released email to Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta, Neera Tandon, a key Clinton surrogate, expressed contempt for one African-American leader, the former NAACP president, after he endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders in the primary. Quote, I know there are a million reasons to desperately want Hillary to win, but Ben Jealous feeling that he has no power is a particularly good one. And while defending her husband, another Another powerful Clinton surrogate brought up a time Hillary Clinton would just as soon forget. I can't make any excuses for Bill Clinton's conduct. He paid a price. He was impeached. And he was, he expressed his deep sorrow and acknowledged what he did. Another WikiLeak email showed that senior Clinton advisors uh, were critical of the White House for not firing anyone senior at the Department of Health and Human Services after that disastrous rollout of Obamacare. Brett? Jennifer Griffin in Seattle. Jennifer, thank you.